Hi everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. And this week we're gonna talk about how you can practice your spares shooting them on a full rack. Some people think the only way you can practice spares is if you leave them. But actually, if you can shoot your spares on a full rack, it'll make you a more precise spare shooter. Let's start with a 10 pin. If you're shooting it on a full rack, the objective is to obviously keep it out of the gutter, but then it's to miss the three pin. If you can do that, it will make you a more precise spare shooter because there probably are times where you barely make that 10 pin and if the three pin was there, you probably would have hit it. But to become more precise at those 10 pins and more accurate, and hopefully your spare percentage goes up, we wanna keep it out of the gutter and miss that three pin. So now let's move over to the other side of the lane, the seven pin. The objective is the same. You wanna keep the ball on the lane, but still miss that two pin. This can still be really challenging because you're going across the lane. And in real life, if the two pin was standing there, you could still make the seven pin. But in order to become a better, more precise spare shooter, we wanna keep it on the lane and miss that two pin. So now we're gonna move on to some of the more trickier ones when shooting them on a full rack. The first one, three, six, 10. We all know we can make a three, six, 10, by making it on the inside, but that can be really dangerous. So we want you to become a better spare shooter at your three, six, tens. So the objective is the same. You wanna hit that three pin, but you have to miss the head pin. That way you're not putting yourself at risk of chopping that three pin off of the six, 10. Now we're gonna move on to the two, four. You wanna make sure that you're hitting that two pin but missing the head pin. This can be really, really tricky because you are going cross lane at it. It doesn't give you a lot of room for air, but this is gonna help with your precision and shot making at your spares. And this isn't for if you just leave a two four or a two pin because you have a lot more room to make it, but this is just really dialing that in that precision and might help you figure out how to make that two ten. So the last pair we're gonna talk about is a washout. And you might be thinking, well, how can I shoot at a washout on a full rack? And it's really simple. The whole objective and the only way you can really make a washout is if you throw the head pin into that corner pin. So for me, it's throwing the head pin into the 10 pin. And for lefties, it's throwing it into the seven pin. Well, the only way to do that is to hit the opposite side of it. So for me, I'm shooting on a full rack and I'm trying to hit the left side of the head pin. Can you really tell if you make it for sure? No, but at least it's helping you become more precise in your spare shooting. So I really hope this, these tips helped and I really hope it makes you a better spare shooter. Good luck out there and we'll see you next week.